Okay, hello everyone. I am excited to record this video. I'm really excited to see what the outcome is, but I really wanted to do this with Carson, but he is out of town for a couple of weeks, sadly. So I'm just gonna film it and see what it comes up with, but I thought it would be fun to try to test out some old wives tales and see what they say our gender is going to be. We already know the gender, but... Okay, say hi. Hi. Stu's been freaking needy butt this morning, so... He might be here bugging us. Anyways, so... I just going to read some questions off my phone. I'm at random yet, so I don't know which way's which. Please hold. Okay, so, I don't know if I already said this, but yeah, I thought it would be fun to record, or to, yeah, record me just like asking questions of old wives tales and seeing like what the gender comes out to be. McCoy's gonna be pretty loud in the background, so sorry. We did post our gender reveal video already, so if you haven't seen that, go watch it after this. You can see if it's correct, but. So, honestly, well, I won't get into it. Okay, so the first one is cravings. So the first one is cravings between salty and sweet. It's honestly really hard because I crave both. <laughs> I crave salty for dinner. Like when I'm hungry, I'm like, I need salt. But then right after I'm instantly like, I need something sweet. But, I'd probably say I crave salt more than sweet. What are you doing? You ain't gonna be in the video? So, which means, let's see, I don't even know. So boy, it's so a one point for boy. All right, um, heartburn, oh my gosh. This just started. I had it so bad with McCoy. So McCoy's here, but I'm also watching my nephew, who is two months younger than McCoy, and he wants to be involved as well, so they're both right here at my feet. So if you hear a noise, that's what it is. Anyway, so the second one is heartburn, and oh my gosh, I had this so freaking bad with McCoy. I can't even tell you how horrible it was. Like, it didn't matter. It really only happened at night, but it didn't matter how late I ate, like, just laying down. Oh. Anyways, it has happened so far, but I'm only 17 and a half weeks right now, and so it's not too bad yet. I think I've only had it happen like twice, and like barely. I did have to take Tums once, but the fact that it's already happening this early is stressing me out, and I think that's another point for boy. Let me look. Oh, I'm wrong. It says heartburn is a sign of a girl, so... One and one now. Anyways, I freaking pray that it is not as bad as it was with him, but. Okay, the next one is morning sickness. And I have been so blessed with both pregnancies that I have not had morning sickness. I got sick for like two days with Mac. But we, Chris and I had went to Disney World and I was like six weeks pregnant. And it was literally as we were flying home and then like the next two days. So I truly think that it was more exhaustion than anything like you're eating like crap at Disney for four days and like just waking up early and we were just so tired but with this one I never threw up and never got to the point where I was even like close to but I would get like if I didn't eat probably within like 10 minutes of waking up I'd start to get nauseous so that was really the only thing I had to do was just like eat which is fine I can do that so, I think most people know if you have morning sickness, it's like the sign of a girl. So, that was the one reason I didn't think I was having a girl, but I don't know. Okay, hair and nails. So, if your hair and nails look extra healthy. Um, my nails are pretty strong right now, honestly. But my hair has just been going through a healing process. 
I was like super blonde and now I'm just working back to the dark. So it does seem like it's growing actually the last like month or so, which is nice. But I'd say they're more on the healthy side for sure. Um, so that says boy. So I, I actually did read this on the other day. It was funny because it said that if like, you're brittle and your hair's not healthy and stuff, then it's a sign of a girl because it's rumored that girls take away the mom's beauty like for themselves or whatever. I thought it was funny. So another point for a boy. Acne. Okay, yes, I have had acne for sure. Um, yeah, I don't usually like ever break down and I just have been getting like the most random like right here. Please hold. What's up? Can you say hi? Say hi. We still in our PJs, huh? Do you see the camera? Yeah, you want to touch it? Can you say hi? Can you someone point at the microphone? Hello! Anyways, so yes, I have 100% had a lot more acne than I would if I was not pregnant. And that is a sign of a girl. So I don't even know what the score is anymore, but it's honestly more even than I thought it would be. Okay, pregnancy brain, I will just say 100% I have pregnancy brain. I feel like I have pregnancy brain even when I'm not pregnant though, but it's nice when I am pregnant because then I can use it as an excuse. Because like I cannot remember anything like Carson will be driving. So for example, I did a Target order the other day, pickup order, and we were going to get food and I was like, can we stop at Target on the way there? Like it's one little thing and it'll take two minutes. It's literally on our way. And I literally said it multiple times. We're driving down the hill. It's probably like two minutes from our house. Don't forget to go to Target. Yeah, I know, I'm going. And then maybe 30 seconds later, we have to make a left turn to go to Target. And Carson starts turning left and she goes straight. And I'm like, dude, like, what are you doing? Why are you turning right here? Like, you hate turning right here. He's like, we're going to Target. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> Anyways. So that's just an example of how my brain has been. So 100% I have pregnancy brain, which is a sign of a boy. Do you want to get down? Can you go play? Okay. Baby bump position. Honestly, I'm only 17 weeks, so I only have so much of a bump, but I can show you. This is my bump right now. I don't know. I was really low with McCoy. I'd say I'm more low than anything right now, but I think everyone is at this point. So I'll still give that point to the boy. Let's see. Okay, feet changes. I gotta read this one because I don't know what this one's about. Okay, just changes in your feet in general, swollen feet, stuff like that. I would say nothing yet, but it's early on. I didn't have that with Mac until as in labor, and it's probably from all the fluids and all the stuff that they're giving me, but my feet were freaking double the size at least. I was like, Carson, look at those things. Like after I'd gotten that epidural and I was just laying there, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm shook. But as of right now, no swelling, nothing. So that's a point for a girl. These are kind of weird ones. Weight gain. Do you gain more weight with a boy or girl? I feel like I've gained a lot less with this pregnancy so far, which is weird. Um, like I was like five pounds heavier with McCoy than I am right now. So anyways, so I guess it's more about like where your weight gain is. If you have extra pounds, it says like in your body, like your thighs or your booty, stuff like that, and it's a girl. 
but if most of your weight is in your belly, it's a boy. I don't know, again, it's like so early, that's hard to say, but I would say I definitely gain a little more everywhere rather than just my belly. I wish I was that type of carrier, but not sadly. So that's a point for girl. Partner's weight gain. I wish Carson was here for this. Um, that's always our joke. And so I'm like, if you just lose a few more pounds, we'd be the exact same weight when I'm like up there. And that's always our joke is if he's going to gain weight with me. But I feel like he's pretty consistent. No matter what he does, like, he says a pretty consistent weight. So um, that's a point for boy. Okay, baby's heartbeat. Um, honestly, so we've only heard the heart, not heard the heartbeat. We've heard it a few times, but we've only had it like on the ultrasound where they like tell us the heartbeat, how fast it is, once. And that was like when he was eight weeks or something. And it wasn't even at my doctor's office. And when I went to my doctor's office, I don't know why she didn't tell us the heartbeat rate. But she didn't. Um, it was like 160. So, let's see. So that's a sign of a girl. It says if it's above 140, it's a sign of a girl. Below 140, it's a sign of a boy. Another point for you. All right, sleeping sides. Um, I definitely sleep on my left side more than anything. That's halfway because McCoy sleeps on my back and so I have to sleep that way. But I also have just always slept that way and I feel like I do that in pregnancy as well. Which is a sign of a boy. All right, boys I think are taking the lead. All right, blood pressure. Okay, this is an interesting one. I'm interested to see what it says because with McCoy and with honestly my whole life, not even pregnancy, whenever I go to the doctor, my blood pressure is high, like so high. Like I, they're like worried about me. But usually I just sit there, wait, and then it'll go down. Like it's just like one of those nervous things. Just funny because like doctors really don't make me nervous, but I guess deep down they do. So yeah, it's always like, I had probably every single time I had to get twice, tested twice with Mac and then towards the end of my pregnancy because I ended up having to go to labor and delivery and they had to monitor, monitor me for like a few hours. Anyways, but this time when I went to my first appointment, my blood pressure was low. I've never had that in my life. And I was like, they're like, yeah, it's low, but it's like still okay. And I was like, shut up. Like, that's not even possible. Cause my heart was like actually racing that time because it's my first appointment, just like nervous. Anyways, it was low. So that was crazy. And then this last time I went, it was good. Like totally normal. And I'm like, this is so weird. I've never had this in my life. So this is if it's higher, girl, if your blood pressure is normal, boy. So point for boy. It's interesting to compare this pregnancy and last and like see I feel like I had way more for girl last pregnancy but it was still a boy. Alright, these are all like actual tests. Oh, the Chinese gender prediction. Let's do that real quick. Okay, so you do your mom's age at conception, which is 20. Oh, at conception. 25. And then baby's due date is August 6th, 2023. Okay. Guess what it says? It's a boy. Chinese gender chart says it's a boy. I remember doing this actually before we found out the gender and I was 100% convinced that it was a girl. And then this thing said boy and I was like, no way. Okay, so last one. Last one is moody versus not moody and honestly I don't think I'm not moody I get really like sensitive but I feel like I don't really necessarily get moody I wish Carson was here to say his opinion but so I would say I'm definitely still like pretty chill I just get emotional not like irrational emotional like I just cry at everything <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's another point for boy. 
So I will calculate the total here. And the winner is A. Boy! Am I surprised? Absolutely not. Okay, I had to pause because things got a little crazy for a second, but my mom has a TV blast hamsters for all the kids. So hopefully you can't hear that too good. But I'm gonna end it here. Um, if you haven't watched our gender reveal video, go watch that. We were so freaking excited. Um, that's just so crazy. I feel so lucky. I can't even tell you guys. Like my pregnancies, both of them so far, have been just like a dream. I can't even complain. Like yeah, I have little things, you know, like my back hurts really bad and I get really bad reflex and stuff like that. But like I will take that all day, over and over, compared to what some women have to go through. So I feel so lucky. I feel so lucky to even have this opportunity to be talking about this stuff, to have a baby. Um, to be doing this about and for those of you who are struggling i pray for you every day i'm not even joking i would never wish infertility upon my worst enemy and i hope that all of you get to experience babies children in one way or another um and get what you want and deserve and yeah thank you guys for watching i'm we're excited we'll keep posting some pregnancy updates along with some fun updates we have some fun trips coming up that we're so excited about. And yeah, we appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for watching.